Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Eric once again, and this time around, we are going to start new activities. Our very first activity is going to be expressions with quirky LEDs. Expressions with quirky LEDs. That is what we are going to begin with. And I have my quirky robot here. I have my quirky robot here. So if you want to program and code with quirky robots, get in touch with Stempedia. Right, so let's get on with it. Let's start our code. Right, so as you can see, I've already launched my Pito blocks and we are set to go. So my Quacky has been connected to Pito blocks via Bluetooth, as you can see, it has been connected via Bluetooth. So everything is set and ready. So what we are going to begin with is to uh, go to the display extension. We want to start with a one-time display, a one-time display. So we are going to display expressions on Quacky. We want to display expressions on Quacky. So we are doing a one-time display. So we are going to use the display extension, as you can see here, display extension. So we are going to use display emotion, the display emotion block. So we are going to see how it is going to work. So this is Quacky here, and we have display happy emotion, right? So as you can see, Quacky is displaying a happy emotion. We want to change angry. So Quacky is displaying angry emotion, as you can see. Let us change it. Crying. Quacky is displaying crying emotion. Quacky is displaying crying emotion. Okay. So we want to change it. Love. So let's see. So Quacky is displaying love emotion. Love emotion. So we can go through the various emotions that are here for us to, to see. So at every point in time, Quacky is able to display that emotion. Now, we don't want to always click in order for the emotion to be displayed by Quacky. So we are going to make use of the event palette, the event palette. So we use the when green flag is clicked. When green flag is clicked, Quacky should display happy emotion. So as you can see, when the green flag was clicked, Quacky displayed happy emotion. Let's look at some other LED emotions. So angry, so angry. Crying. So Quacky is crying. As you can see. This book. So Quacky is displaying this book. Okay, so giggle. This is giggle. Let's look at disco. So Quacky is displaying disco. Super angry. So super angry. This is how Quacky displays it. So these are 
some other LED emotions. NED. That's how Quacky displays NED. So we want to create a script that will change the emotions when different keys are pressed on the keyboard. So we want to do that now. Okay. So we are going to make use of when space key is pressed. So we are going to use the navigation keys, the up arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow, and so on and so forth. So first of all, when the up arrow is pressed, when the up arrow key is pressed, we want Quacky to display happy emotion. So let's see. So we are going to press the up arrow. So we are going to press the up arrow. So, so we have pressed the up arrow. So Quacky is displaying happy emotion. Then let's look at the next one. When the down arrow is pressed, when the down arrow is pressed, we want Quacky to display angry, angry emotion. So when the down arrow, so let's see the down arrow. So the down arrow is pressed and Quacky is displaying angry emotion. Okay, so now let's go to when the left arrow key is pressed. So when the left arrow key is pressed, we want Quacky to display crying emotion. So we want Quacky to display crying emotion. So left arrow. So I press the left arrow. So crying emotion, crying emotion, right. Then finally, we go for when the right arrow key is pressed, we want Paki to display love. So when the right arrow key is pressed, we want Paki to display love. So, so when the right arrow key is pressed, we want Quacky to display love. Right. Now, since we have put together the script, you can see that it is static and we want to add some life to it and display some animations. We want to animate it. So we are going to replace the display motion block with display animation block from the display extension. So we are going to make use of the when green flag is clicked, when the green flag is clicked. So let's clear this and do that. When the green flag is clicked. So from the event palette, when the green flag is clicked. So we want Quacky to display blink animation. So there's it. So when the green flag is clicked, we want Quacky to display blink animation. So let's select blink. So blink animation. So Quacky blink. So we do it again, Quacky blink. Now there's something missing because the code runs only once and it will be tiresome to always click for the code to run. So we are going to make use of the forever block from the control palette. So we are going to bring the forever block so that it does it continuously. It does it continuously. So we want Quacky to blink continuously. So, so we want the LED animation blinking. So we are going to go again. So when green flag is clicked, 
forever display blank animation. So that's what we have. So Quacky is blinking. Quacky is blinking. So that's all we have for today. I'll see you in the next activity. Bye-bye.